everybody, this is Dawn at Scrapbook Sage. Thank you for coming to my channel. I have a fun video I'm looking forward to sharing with you. There is a project that I've been wanting to do for a couple months now. In January, my friend Trisha and I were hanging out at the local library. We were working on some crafts and just hanging out together. And it, the director there saw us working on, ju on junk journals. And I was working on a junk journal actually for Lindsay Zenner's February Challenge. And um, she fell in love with the junk journal. And she asked if I could teach some classes at the library. And I said, sure, I'd be happy to do that. So this week we were planning to do my first class. And it turns out with the coronavirus and everything, other classes have been canceled or will postpone them. But we wanted to be, but I wanted to still be able to share this project with people and give some family, give family members some ideas of how to do a fun craft at home with, resources that you might have or where how you can create something with really little um, resources or if you have a printer and you can print up a free digital kit where to go so soon after we were at the library we were discussing what to make and I knew um, there was a project that I had seen Shabby Doodah do she is on YouTube and she does she did these envelopes called blooming envelopes and they're really cute and it was one of her favorites. So she ends up having, she has two videos on how to make these envelopes and um, they're just gorgeous and she does a fabulous job with them. I'm not going to even be able to compare with how well she makes her envelopes. So I had to put a link to one of her YouTube channels on my Facebook, Scrapbook Sage Um site so you're welcome to go there and watch that and um so i decided i wanted to do the envelope because the envelope would make a great cover for a junk journal and i've made some of these blooming envelopes to show you guys and then we'll make one using caroline's from caroline's craft tree and Lindsay zanner's nevermore creations she's one of the designers there you can print up her kit and make make the um make one of these envelopes for yourself but if you don't have access to one of those i was playing this earlier today and i thought well maybe some family member some people might not have access to their printer or they're trying to save money or um they may not have scrapbook paper or many craft supplies but i thought most people probably have an envelope and they probably have some crayons or colored markers and they might have some washi tape or lace or some stamps to decorate an envelope so i just colored on a piece of paper i'm not an artist so i don't make um great flowers or anything but i took my gel pens and just did outlines of flowers and pretty much scribbled them i i, I just said okay i'm gonna make something that sort of looks like a flower and because I knew I had gel pens with a baby wipe, you can like outline a flower and take a baby wipe and wipe it and it will sort of give you a watercolor effect. And so that's what I did on like, you could see some of the backgrounds of these. And then I took another pen with my alcohol ink markers, but you could probably take any marker and just highlighted some other areas. And I just made a handful, you know, about eight or nine flowers and made some leaves and put them and then glued them in layers on the envelope and I'll show you how to do that. So I made this, so I think any family, if you guys are home and you want a fun project to do, this is a fun way to do it. And then, as I was saying, I follow Lindsay Zenner and use a lot of her digital kits and she has the cutest one called Farmhouse Daisies. And this is, I made this using her farmhouse daisy kits. And I had some multicolored envelopes and I thought it would go really good with this kits. This is the page from the kit that I used. So I cut it down and just did some blooming flowers there. I can put a cute little sentiment right here. Another thing that I found is um, just playing around with different things is I have these cute little um, chipboard pieces and I live on the coast and here's a little mermaid and I thought that would be cute. So to take this idea, it could be flowers, but imagine how cute this would be with shells 
or if you want to do fish, if you want to give one to like a hunter or do trees instead. So you can switch this up any way you want, but it's a fun idea. And um, regardless, you can have flowers, imagine a lot of different fish or crabs and wells and a nautical theme. You can do fashion, have little gals peeking out over doing different things. So play with it and see what works for you. So there's that one there. Oh, I had one of the gals, you know how people have those girls stickers are really popular with the day timers. Look how cute this would be on this card. It's just a little girl, cute Mother's Day card, right? Just put Happy Mother's Day. So we've got some dads there who need a fun project and they're looking on YouTube to try to figure out, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with these kids? And um, some they can um, do something fun like this. Little kid can draw their little um, paper dolls. It looks like the paper doll theme is getting really big again. And um, so the other one I wanted to show you is I made this one here. This is from Lindsay Zenner's um, Pretty in Pink um, collection. But this is just a piece of scrap of paper that I cut the flowers out and put them in a coffee dyed envelope. They don't have to be perfect. And then I had some green music paper and just ink the edges. And this made a really cute one too. And this is blessed. And this is the one that we're going to make. It's going to look similar to, it won't look exactly like it, but it's going to look similar to this one. And this is from Carolyn's Craft Tree. She made this envelope and a lot of these cut aparts are from her. And one of them is from Lindsay Zenner's um, kit too. There's a seed pack kit and I printed up the full page and got the bigger daffodils that way. So here's the kit here. I'm going to cut it and um, cut it down and show you how I made this. And we'll put one of those little embellishments on it. So it's a pretty quick process. I am not going to be perfect and. As I cut this, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas and give you the resources to make this the way that you wanted to. Like I said, Shabby Doodah does an excellent job at um, making some really creative ideas. So I hope everybody's doing okay today. I know a lot is going on in the news and I just, it's amazing how this new virus that we haven't seen is impacting everybody's life. And I think that is interesting. It's the reason it is, is it's a new virus. Nobody has, has built an immune system or anything to fight it. And that's why this is so big. I work in the healthcare industry and I work on call. So I was initially called in today and then they, um, were able to find somebody before I was able to get back to them, but I have a feeling I'll be called in a little bit more um, as the weeks go by, but I'm glad that people are taking some time to follow the instructions and just give the health industry a chance to be able to manage this without all the healthcare workers getting sick and um, and the resources. I know we live um, in a rural area, so resources are already limited. So if something really big like this happens and there's an emergency, things just can get taxed a whole lot more. And I'm glad we're gonna be able to provide care for people, but I know there's a great cost to that too with everybody else. So. My heart goes out to everybody who is sacrificing and my heart is just really grateful um, for what people are giving up and they might, I know a lot of people may not understand or may not be thrilled about it right now, but I just want to say thank you and um, for participating in it and taking care of the people who are most vulnerable. And I know a lot of us who are crafters might be, we might have compromised immune symptoms um, symptoms or we have um, parents or grandparents that we um, get to spend time with and we don't want to get them sick so 
I'm just grateful for what everybody is doing and and for the, a lot what the a lot of the businesses are doing. My husband's coming home. He told me his schedule is going to be changing. So who knows what it's going to look like? But um, I still feel that I'm very blessed, and um, I know God is bigger than all of this. And I hope that you guys will be encouraged as you find the hidden blessings in this. And I'm sorry, I'm cutting off. I cutting off the screen. I'm still getting used to filming as I create. This is the first time I'm actually doing a film of anything while I'm creating. So I've been showing you some projects that I've completed, but I have never done a process filming. And I'm going to try to get this done before my husband gets home. He should be home pretty soon. I've taped a couple times, but like I said, I'm still getting used to this process. <laughs> so, um, if you like this channel and want to see more channels like this of me creating things and showing you something in a, a quick, fun project, especially during the season, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video and I will be more than happy to post more videos of different craft ideas or um, and or definitely share some projects that are out there already that will give you inspiration. I realized um, something about myself. I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily a teacher even though I'm doing a process video online. I'm more of a networker. So the thing that I love about the crafting community is you've got people with different skills or we all have different skills, right? Some people are the artists, they draw everything or um, some people are multi-talented or they draw, they market, they make, they can make anything they put their hands to. And then some of us have our niches. And most of my career, I've been a coordinator. I like to connect people with other people. I like to network and I like to encourage people to find their talents and their skills and um, help them be successful at that. So I realized one reason that I like to do YouTube videos is again that networking and that encouraging piece. It's like Oh, Lindsay has some great work. I really want to share her work. I'm really grateful for all that she does for the community. And look at this cute thing that Carolyn made. Um, she's quite the designer. Let's um, share the work that she does. She's got a really cute eco dye kit too that I will be using down the road. But um, I don't know what you, if you guys know what eco dye paper is if you're new to junk journaling or crafting, it pretty much is like coffee dyed, but you actually use plants to dye the papers and you press them against the paper and the plants get an impression or the plants make an impression on the paper with the different dyes from the flowers. So um, some people sell the digital prints of those, some of them sell the actual eco dyed paper that they've done and they sell it and they'll send it to you on their Etsy shops. So again, there's just so many talented people there and people who are willing to try the different um, techniques. And so some of us will do the techniques. Some of us will um, just be really happy that other people do it and we can purchase it. I, Trisha and I joke about me doing artwork and stuff. I love to, I do like to paint, but I don't like to paint. I don't like to get dirty. So when I'm painting, I'm enjoying the process, but the process of getting really dirty, like my hands dirty and having to clean the paint brushes and stuff like that, that prevents me from painting way more than it should. So that's something I'll have to get better at doing. But 
we all find our little niches that um, work for us. One of the other artists was talking about finding your art style. And I will put the link to it if I find it. I know I wrote it in my junk journal. Who did it? I have to just look it up. And um, one of the things she had you assess was what is it that you do work on? What is your style? Are you stuck or because I really am a card maker and a junk a scrapbooker and junk journaler. I like the paper and I like to layer and collage and play with the beautiful things that people create. Now I will draw and play, but I am not an artist. I am like a frustrated third grade artist. I should take some art classes because I think I would enjoy doing it. I have done a, I actually drew a camera that I used on my business card and I was amazed that it came out like that, but I, I don't have any formal training and you just saw my flowers that I made. So, um, but I think there's all there's skills that we all want to learn and I hear you become skilled at something and a master at something after you do it for a thousand hours or 10,000 hours one or the other. I think it might even be 10,000 hours so I don't think I'm really skilled at anything I put my hand to a lot of many different things and um, but I would like to become a skilled artist someday when it comes to painting and or drawing. So I went ahead and as I, I just cut a couple pages down from Caroline's craft um, tree, her March freebie with these gorgeous little daffodils. And I cut down the daffodils here. I'm a little bit concerned that I might not have enough daffodil for this project but let's see what we have here and if we do not what we can do is you can print up a second page that has the daffodils and I haven't cut out all of her pictures I just cut down the file folder that she had and I wanted to see if I can make this work with just doing that one page without cutting out another page. So let me fuss a little bit here because I think I might be able to do that if I put things on here the right way. But as I'm sitting here thinking, so I'm not having to work so hard, I'm gonna take this other page and cut out the, the can and the um, daffodils because that will take up a little bit more space and it might be exactly what I need. So anyways, put this down here. As I was saying, I um, just love playing with all the different papers that people do their art on. When my husband and I got married, I do I would love to create to collect artwork, but the issue with that is you need to have storage space to collect artwork. So when we were younger, I, I decided, okay, I will just collect. The scrapbook paper because it makes me happy and really I can just play like I can sort my scrapbook paper and I am happy doing that um, I don't have to craft so <laughs> um, I'm just gonna set these here I think my husband came so I may not glue these in here before he walks through the door um, you've already seen these glued down but I will arrange these in a way that will be really cute and before he comes in with the pizza. If you hear him come in with the pizza, just know that he's coming in with the pizza. And um, I will end my video soon after he gets home. 
So let's see, I could probably put these up here facing this way. This could probably go right here. This can go right there. This can go right there. And I put this right here. And there is a really cute blooming envelope. So like I said, I think he's going to be home in a minute and I don't want you guys to have to hear that happening, but I hope this inspired you. If you like this, um, if you like this episode, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.